Hey y'all, it's time for the weekend, but before we do so, rent versus buy calculation. I got a good one for you. $2,000 rent versus $500,000 home. We're gonna go conventional, 5% down, 3% interest rate, 4% appreciation rate. So right off the bat in five years, you're gonna save about $74,432 deciding to own rather than rent. To break that down, it's gonna cost approximately $38,600 to uh, bring to close on your home about $175,000 in total payments made over five years, and then about $13,800 in maintenance costs. Subtract that by your appreciation, which is about $108,000 after five years, about $52,700 in paying down your principal, and then tax savings of about $14,800, and that leaves you with the cost of owning $51,740. Whereas, if you decide to rent, for five years with a 2.5 yearly rent increase, you're gonna spend $126,151. Now, if you subtract that cost of owning by the cost of renting, that's gonna give you your buy gain of $74,411. Now, what is the tax adjusted payment? When you're on your own home, you're able to write off the interest that you pay on your loan each year. We take that interest savings divided by 12 and then give you your tax adjusted payment. So in this situation, your annual tax savings is gonna be about $3,077. Divided by 12, show monthly, that's $256. So your tax adjusted payment is gonna be $2,663. Now I know this is more expensive than your rent at $2,000 monthly, but this is a fixed cost. Whereas that rent is going to increase year over year at 2.5%. And by year 30, your rent, that $2,000 rent is going to be $4,195.14. Most importantly, you aren't earning equity. What is equity? Each month that you make your home payment, you're gaining equity in your home. So you're gonna put $25,000 down, appreciation of about $108,000, $326 after five years, and then paying down your principal, $52,694. That's gonna give you a total equity of $186,021.26. So let's just say after five years, something comes up. Maybe you need to upgrade, or maybe you wanna move across the country or something like that. Well, it's still gonna make sense to purchase for five years and then sell then. Let's break that math down. It's gonna, your home is gonna be worth approximately $608,326. Subtracted by the equity, your balance is gonna be $422,305. With a prorated tax credit of $1,909. And then closing costs to sell your home of $42,740. And that's gonna leave you a net at close after five years of $145,190. Now, this is a lot of money, especially compared to renting, right? Renting will cost you $126,151 after five years. You have nothing to show for it. With this $145,190, that's enough for a down payment for a bigger home to put into a retirement account or whatever scenario you would need it for. What's up, y'all? Hope you enjoyed this Rent vs. Buy calculations. If you're interested in seeing what your rent versus buy calculation is, just let me know. You can go to our website, thelevelnoscoop.com slash rent versus buy, and you can find it there or the link in the bio, you can find that link, fill out your criteria, and we'll get that over to you as soon as possible. All right, y'all, enjoy your weekend, take care.